Our previous video was on GST types of components. We have made an interesting discussion in that video by asking a question whether CGST, SGST and IGST are really the types of GST. So if you have not watched the video, I have left a, dis a link in the description section. You can uh, click on the link and watch the video. And if you are new to my channel, please consider uh, to subscribe to my channel and press bell icon to get uh, notification on the future videos which I am going to upload. Now I welcome you all to Avi's Academy. Me and today's topic of our discussion is GST models. Now, what is this GST models? So, GST models is the mechanism that indicates how GST is levied and administered in the country. So, if model reflects how GST is levied and administered in the country, does that mean uh, universally there is single model which is used by the countries that have implemented GST in their economy? That's what we are going to see in this video. Let's start our discussion. At world level, there are two models that are widely used to levy and administer GST, single model and dual model. Under single GST model, GST is levied and administered by the central government and only one rate of GST is charged on all the products. Examples for countries that follow this system are New Zealand which implemented GST in the year 1986 and till 2010 it used to charge 10% GST. But after 2010, the New Zealand government has changed the rate of GST to 15% which is still applicable. Even Singapore government follows similar system where a GST of 7% is applicable on all the products. There is another variant of single GST model that is also followed in the world. Countries like Indonesia, UK, France, etc. follows single GST model with varying rates of tax that depends on the nature of the product. Under dual GST model, both central and state or provincial government charges GST and usually different rates of taxes are applicable on different products. Countries that follow dual GST models are Canada, Brazil, USA. We now know the two types of models, single GST model and dual GST model. Now the case of India. If you consider the case of India, India is a federal country where administration of the country as well as the economy is carried out by both central and state government. Indian constitution also empowers both central and state government to impose or levy tax on matters relating to goods and services. Considering these intricacies of Indian administration structure and the models which we have discussed earlier, there is no model than the dual GST model that perfectly suits the requirement of India. And this is the model which is implemented in India. Now the question is how GST model is applied in India. That's what we are going to see next. In India, GST is applied in the case of intrastate transaction and interstate transaction. If the taxable supply takes place between two states, GST is charged by the seller as integrated GST and the tax collected goes to central government and then the central government redistributes with the state government where the product is consumed. Even in case of a transaction with other countries, the other countries are treated like states in India and therefore when we import goods from other country, IGST is charged and when we export goods to other country, IGST is charged. But under GST Act, since exports are zero rated, there is no tax applied on the export. If the supply takes place within a particular state, then the applicable GST rate is split into CGST and SGST and the collected CGST component of the tax goes to central government and SGST component of the tax goes to state government where the consumption of the product takes place. In the case of transaction within a union territory, in the place of SGST, UTGST is applied and both CGST and UTGST goes to central government because in India, UTs with no legislature is administered by the central government, but UTs with legislature are considered as states and therefore SGST is applicable. It means the union territories with legislature like New Delhi, Pondicherry or Puducherry and Jammu Kashmir is considered as states under GST Act and hence 
for within state transaction they charge sgst and collect the tax on the other hand all the remaining union territories that is andaman and nicobar islands lakshadweep daman and diu dadra and nagar haveli chandigarh and the newly formed ladakh charges ut gst for within state transaction this is how gst is applied in the country